Yeah, I, I, th I think it was a crisis. I think it's rather a serious crisis. And, um, uh, while I, I understand what Ed Prescott's saying when he says unemployment isn't really an economic term, but it, that's the way that the crisis can be measured. And, uh, that, and I think unemployment is, is the problem, uh, how, however you, you put it. And uh, I think that the question we've been posed is, uh, uh, can that be sorted soon? And uh, are the labor reforms that you're doing helpful? Uh, I've been, I've read on the, on the web or in newspapers that uh, the problem that Spain has is that its wages rose quite a lot during this Euro period and uh, on the other hand uh, Germany's wages did not rise nearly as much. And Fair point. If that's what happens, then uh, Greece, uh, Spain, like Greece, is pricing itself out of world markets. So that sounds as though we've got a nice, easy solution, right? We just uh, run history backwards, uh, reduce the wages, uh, what people call an internal devaluation, something that would be equivalent to a devaluation. Now, it's, it's not that I, th I think that if this were an ideal world that one would preserve the euro, but I decided not to get into that fight. I, I think it's really hard to get the equivalent of a devaluation uh, while you remain in, in the euro. Uh, and Perhaps a, a better one would be uh, internal revaluation in, in Germany and, and Finland and so on. But uh, let's look at the question whether, if, if it were possible to achieve that, and, and of course you'd be trying to achieve this rather indirectly through the sorts of labor reforms that have been spoken of, like uh, making firing much easier then you'd gradually get to more flexible labor markets and you'd suppose that whatever are the reasons, which I assume is uh, the nature of uh, trade union bargaining, uh, the reasons why wages got so high, that uh, if you can remove these causes, then at least in future you wouldn't have this problem again. But if you ran history back and you could get uh, wages to the, the level they would have been if you hadn't suffered from the inflexibility in the labor market. Uh, would that solve the problem? I mean, I, I know what the simple, rather simple models that I kind of grew up at, on in Cambridge say about this, and I, I want to indicate what I think that is uh, and uh, ask essentially what's wrong with that? I think they'd say that uh, no doubt after a period of adjustment, this should mean that uh, indeed Spain would have rather less unemployment and uh, Germany would have rather more unemployment and so on for the various other countries. That's to say that the unemployment would be redistributed around countries. Uh, that doesn't seem to me to be a solution to the crisis. Uh, indeed, I don't see any reason to think that uh, total unemployment or whatever measure of the welfare loss that comes from people not being able to get in there and contribute to the economic output, uh, I don't see any, anything in this that uh, really helps. Now, the hope would be, of course, uh, th this is what economic theory should say, oh yes, that Germany, when it realizes that it's got more unemployment again, and I don't know how it can be happy with uh, the current level, will then adopt suitable policies to, to get back 
towards full employment. Uh, two problems with that. One is that we can see that they're, uh, they're not doing it now, uh, and they do have a level of unemployment that's quite significant. And, uh, of course, the, the other problem is that this would be seen as uh, fiscally damaging and unsatisfactory. Uh, that's already been mentioned by the, the panel. Uh, I, I don't quite see it. I would have thought that uh, in, in that situation you would simply expect that governments would increase net spending and they would finance the extra spending by expanding the money supply. It, uh, of course, that increases national debt, but it doesn't do it in the way that, that represents uh, an irresponsible postponement of taxation. Uh, that was, of course, the, the Keynesian message. The important thing to realize is, of course, and I'm sure you all realize this really, is that it's, it's got to be seen in an international context. Uh, and part of the difficulty we get into here is we say, oh, th this is a labor market problem. Uh, uh, the, the, the problem is caused by wages being inflexible. Uh, well, that's part of the problem. But I, I think uh, you've got to remember the other side of uh, standard simple macroeconomics, which says that if you... For example, if you have a devaluation, you must have uh, compensating adjustments to, to fiscal policy some way or other. Uh, otherwise, you will simply uh, uh, continue with what you've got. Uh, now that, that, that seems to me uh, fundamentally the, the difficulty we're in now, uh, that as a result of the the way that uh, governments have financed deficits in the past, uh, governments are, are now finding it very difficult to finance stimulus packages. There are still governments that could do it. And of course, we do have the, the problem of the, the countries with oil wealth who may not be uh, doing quite enough. And uh, although China has done a lot for the world by doing things. It still has a, a, a large public sector surplus. It, it, uh, it, it chooses not to regard the profits of the public sector companies as income of the government, and therefore it looks as though they're running a deficit. But uh, I, I think that's simply incor incorrect. So part of uh, what, what needs done is saying, if you're going to have labor market reform, I think you do need other reforms as well. But you need international action. But uh, as people keep saying, you, you would think that the expansion has to come from Germany. Of course, that's because uh, that, that's the, the country that might possibly be able to spend more euros, but it also involves the, the, the Central Bank of Europe and, and doing the appropriate things. And there was something else I wanted to say was, uh, uh, and in a way, it's just putting the, the same problem ar around in, in a different way. Was You wouldn't think this was the time to have labor market reform, to bring in uh, increased flexibility of labor markets, a reduction of wages, at a time when that is uh, almost guaranteed to increase unemployment. That doesn't seem the way to, to get approval for what in the long run are certainly desirable changes. Uh, that would not be an issue if it were possible for the government at the same time to adopt the expansionary policies that would offset the, the initial reduction of demand that it's going to follow from anything you do to get wages down. Uh, but uh, that is very difficult. If you have a common currency, 
based on the the, uh, the rules about deficits and national debt that have just been agreed to, uh, uh, which seem to go completely in, in the wrong direction for those of us who think that the problem is unemployment, not finance, fiscal deficits. <clears throat> 